Hey there, Wondering Watchers. This is an unboxing and flip through of Night Vision Oracle Deck. It is a mini Oracle Deck that's, um, I don't even know if it's considered pocket size. You can see by my hand, uh, it really towers <laughs> over it. My hand looks ginormous in this video. Um, it's not ginormous in real life, and neither is this deck. Um, it's a pocket-sized deck. It's only 24 cards. They're entirely bat-themed, and there's supposed to be two interpretation cards as well. It came in bubble wrap inside of this cute little black mesh bag. Um, and you can see there's like little sparkly things that were wrapped into it. So here on the back, so you can even see through the bag, it says night visions. And those might look like bunnies. Maybe they're bat bunnies. Uh, but it's entirely bat theme. And I'm so excited about this. Um, the stars are just pouring out of the bag already. So let's go ahead and get into this. Here's the card that came with it by the creator. Oh, these, these are cute little stars. I want to keep these. Okay. It's Cat Millard Art, catmillard.com, shop, darklingwoods.com. So I got this on Etsy and, oh, there's, let me take this off. Um, I got this on Etsy and I went through everything at this store, um, the Darkling Woods store on Etsy. And there's like prints, drawings um, of, you know, bats and other cute adorable things so here it's like an Altoid size tin box nothing too fancy except for the uh, little glittery stars sticking to it here. so I was really excited to get these I'm still excited to go through these. They're very, like, I don't know if I want to call them plain, but just basic and to the point. They're just cute bats with one word. There's no guidebook on it. But here, you can see, move this over here. Here is the word cozy and here is the back of the card it says night visions does it get any clearer on here let's see mm -hmm. there they're like how close can i get they're just so adorable I can't tell if there are possums there, if that's like, that's like a, like a possum, that's a bat, are they all bats? I'm really not sure, but since this is a bat themed deck, I'm assuming they are all bats. So here we have knowledge. Adventure, Relentless, oh, this one's upside down for some reason, ooh, perspective, I like that, that it's upside down, that's very clever. 
spontaneity with a bat Sunday. Timeless. Oh, and here must be the the card of the interpretations. So I'll go through that at the end. There's creativity. Home. As you can see, like it's a little, little cottage there. Some trees. Oh my goodness. This says community and there's like flying pumpkin bats and ghosts in this community. Awesome. Here's memory. Passion. All right, like I'm gonna show you my stuff. Oh, it's a little bat heart. That's what they're showing. This says play. What's he little bat? What are they play? They're playing poker. Are they playing drawing, crafting, bat craft. Yes, that's how they play bat craft. All right, and then you have temperance. Wisdom. I'm gonna see if I can like fix this autofocus because it's driving me batty. Okay. And then here's the other card for interpretations. Companion spooky pals. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. They're adorable pals. Um curiosity. Curiosity killed the bat, indulgence, message, ah, patient, protection, Temptation. Oh, that looks so good. It's like my, uh, almost like my wedding cake. I had a Halloween themed wedding, and uh, so I had a Halloween themed wedding cake. And then we have hope. Car caring. Let's see what it, that's in the background. Oh, it looks like like little cottages in the background. Okay, so those are the the 24 night vision oracle cards. So let's take a look at what these interpretation cards say. Doesn't seem like it's in alphabetical order. So you have here curiosity, knowledge you do not have can be delighting or agonizing. What are you learning? Then you have passion. Intensity can inspire bold choices. What emboldens you? Um, and it almost doesn't matter how zoomed in it, I get on this. It's a little blurry on the, the card itself. So we have adventure, challenging or freeing. What are you facing? Companion, more or less familiar. Company of others is sometimes a gift. When did you last smile with others? Home, where you belong, where you freely take up space, creativity, internal, made external. Our process start to finish. What are you making? Interesting. Okay, so we have, these are very slippery, by the way. They kind of like slip slide away. Okay, so we have memory up here. A cycle of a good thing ending and cherish and something new starting. Where are you? Hope. The future is unknown, but it can always contain something better. 
what are you unsure of? And knowledge? What has been learned or can be? Do you have answers? I'm timeless. I'm tethered from time and never gets old. What's staged with you stayed with you. And play an activity that's only necessary that's only necessary product is fun. What do you play? Then you have here Wisdom is one's insights based on experience and knowing when to rely on others. What are you thinking? Community, big or small, community is all around you who is on your mind, relentless, motivating, or exhaustive. How are you feeling? Spontaneity, surprises and chaos. What's expected? Cozy, comfort in shielding oneself from frigid conditions are you comfortable message many things around us communicate some more loudly than others what are you hearing temperance moderation and balance what ways surround what weights oh what weights surround your center yeah, perspective, the view never changes. If you stand still, what do you see? Indulgence, the hedonistic joy with second servings. What feels good to you? Temptation, distractions, rewards, or a weak spot. What calls to you? Protection, risking something to defend something else. What do you value? Patience, understanding, and time for oneself or others. What is frustrating? Guidance. Loss can mean anywhere. Guidance can lead anywhere. Where are you? Okay. So I want to take a look at what the timeless one was. Sorry, I think I have cat hairs on here. Or bat hairs. But I just want to see what the timeless one looked like. It's relentless. Perspective, that's awesome. Something. Oh. Timeless. It's a, it's a bat. It's just a bat. That, that does seem timeless. Okay. So, I guess that these are really small here so let's see how I can even like shuffle them um, I mean they're like 24 so I'd probably just do it like this and just kind of sh shuffle it um, it's like rounded um, corners and like I said they're kind of slippery so um, with shipping and everything, it was about $24. So roughly, you know, a dollar per per card here. Um, in terms of the card, it's kind of like, you know, like a reflective, glossy kind of card. And it doesn't seem too flimsy. I mean, it is small but it seems slightly stiff. Let me see if I can go ahead and do like, it's almost like my thumb, it, my thumbs are too big for like holding these cards to shuffle. But you can kind of do this type of shuffling and I'm gonna pull a couple cards to see I'm just gonna see overall what this deck's favorite bat card is. Let's see here. What is this deck's favorite card? 
Spooky Pals companion. That's just adorable. Okay, adorable pals. All right, so this is what I have for you and the Night Visions Pocket Size Oracle Card. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you have this deck, um, or even if you don't. And we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.